Okay, hey. Um, I can already hear the sound of you judging me, so if you'll just allow me for one second to explain myself. I was doing my, you could say, daily scroll on Gumtree yesterday. Uh, if you don't know about Gumtree, Gumtree is a wonderful world, a wonderful website where you can buy anything from furniture, electronics, clothes, <laughs> kittens. And I happened to come across a beautiful, beautiful baby boy, last one in the litter, little ragdoll kitten. Guys, contacted the seller late last night. It was my evening brain talking, and you know the evening brain just wants to buy everything. So long story short, I've ended up purchasing the kitten. Oh my God. I'm looking at him like I'm rescuing him because he was the last one and I didn't want him to feel left out. And sort of a ragdoll's been one of my like favorite breeds for basically ever. Also, it's gonna be a companion for Bowie, like two little kittens together. I really want him to have a friend to grow up with. It's always best to have two cats. Bowie! <laughs> and for times when I'm walking around town, I feel really bad that he's by himself. So if he has a little mate, it's my breath smell. The ears would say yes. Then he'll never be sad, he'll never be lonely. I mean, I'm excited to see how he's gonna react. But I'm also so happy that this is happening. I won't lie to you, the cat was quite expensive, but it's because he's a pure breed. I don't want to talk about it. But the good thing about uh, ragdolls is they're extremely friendly. Also, they're like quite calm animals. So hopefully they're not going to be too competitive with each other. Because Bowie's, he's a lovable character as well. Like, he's not going to start any beef, I don't think. But yeah, I'm going to take you along, because why not? Please don't judge me. <laughs> so in terms of transportation of said kitty, because apparently it's illegal to have a cat just roaming in the car. Like you need to have it in a, a box, <laughs> apparently. Hang on, let me stop that music. So I don't have a kitten carrier per se. I have got one that I've ordered because I will need it for in the future when I take him to the vet, etc. God, I'm so excited. I do, however, have A surplus of cardboard boxes. The benefit of moving. I mean, what what do you think he would want? Would he want a microwave box, KitchenAid box? Hmm, potential. An Amazon box? Oh God. That noise, I'm so sorry, that was horrible. Oh, that's perfect. I'll pad it out with some sort of um, plush rug. Oh my gosh, I have a, like, a faux sheepskin rug that I can use, brilliant. I sincerely hope uh, he doesn't wet himself. Don't tell me I'm not prepared. Just so happens that I have puppy training pads here. This is from when Bowie was being transported over because he had to come all the way from the northeast, but he didn't actually wet himself. Good boy. Babe, are you okay? He senses something. So I'm about to go meet Abby. Did I mention that I was getting a lift? My good friend and confidant is gonna drive me to the kitten because obviously I can't drive. Cause you know. I'm only 24 guys. Yeah, and he lives about 30 minutes outside of Manchester. So it's gonna be an exciting car ride. Right, let's go. Sitting in me mum's car. <laughs> <laughs> no, Abby's coming to collect with me on our way. All right, kids. <laughs> I know, it's us. <laughs> so Abby's actually the front woman. The singer of a band. I'm called Foxglove. She is called Foxglove. <laughs> I am Foxglove. <laughs> yeah, go and check them out, they're actually insane. I've seen them live a few times as well because I'm a good friend. Thanks, Harry. Once or twice, have I? <laughs> More times to come. Oh, can be oh. It's meant to be. It's got no body. It's terrifying. Are you ready, babe? Are you kidding? You haven't laughed? Hello, darling. Hello. So I should probably say he has got some yellow around his eyes because of a, a, a drop they put in to check he didn't have any scratches as a baby. Yeah. So it's all fine. It'll clear up in a few days. I bloody hope anyway. <laughs> no, he's adorable and he's really calm. He's not squeaking at all. Oh, oh baby. Okay. You're amazing, darling. Oh. oh. I am willing to take some suggestions for kitten names, by the way. Um, I, I won't use them, but... <laughs> oh. Do you like your map? Oh, look, he's so cute. You babe. He's, oh, I was just about to say he's being so quiet. Oh, cute. 
Before we carry on with today's video, I just want to take a quick second to talk about Girls Out Loud who are working with me on this portion of today's video. So what Girls Out Loud is, it's a campaign to highlight the fact that girls, young girls in particular, are being targeted and harassed online. And the sad thing is, I'm pretty sure we can all relate to this in some way or another. If you've ever received a message or a DM from someone, particularly someone who's older than you, that's made you feel uncomfortable, you know, that's a form of harassment and we shouldn't stand for it. Whether they're asking you to send an explicit picture of yourself, you know, they're asking you for nudes or whether they're sending a picture of themselves to you, it's not normal and we shouldn't stand for it at all. And Girls Out Loud really wants to drive home that fact and the things that you need to do are block them, report them, and then tell someone that you trust. This can be anyone, this can be someone online, it can be a helpline, it can be the police, just someone that you trust. And the thing is about being online and having a social profile, it just makes it easier for these predators, you know, say how it is, to target young girls and individuals online. Because what they're doing is they're violating your safe space that you've created for yourself online and it's just, it's not on. And these people are just trying to take advantage of the fact that they're assuming that we don't know any better. So the way that we can help to stop this is by remembering those three things and hopefully it will stop them from doing it to more people in the future. So block, report and tell someone you trust. I've got you girlies, thank you girls out loud for working with me on this video. I know it took a really serious turn, but that's just because this is so important and I'm really passionate about it. Let's look after each other. Back to the video. Okay, it's recovered. Oh. Seventh floor. <laughs> Doors open. Oh. Door open. I wonder where Bowie's gonna be. Hello, Bowie baby. Can I come see your brother? Oh, Bowie. The close encounter's not third kind. He's away. He's at least kind. They're fluffy in here. I actually feel like the first meeting could have gone worse. I probably should have let the little man wander around before <laughs> showing Bowie. But hey ho. Oh my gosh. Hello. I've tried to clean his face, but obviously I don't want to fuss around too much because I don't want to irritate him. Irritate him as in irritate his, um, eyes but also irritate him as in annoy him because i want him to love me as much as i love him oh my i can't believe it i don't want to be too loud because he's just fallen asleep but it has been how many hours have we been back now it's been about two hours oh my god he's the sweetest soul ever i know rag dolls are famous for being like really calm and friendly but oh my god i can't believe how like peaceful he is hello like how is that real how is that cat real anyway in terms of names i am thinking to keep sort of the musician theme you know how i've got bowie maybe go for something like freddie like freddie mercury I could even go for Jagger, Mick Jagger. I don't know, there's a lot to choose from. I just like the name Ash, as an Ash from Pokemon. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Tricky. Anyway, he's gonna sleep in my bed tonight and I'm terrified of rolling on him and squashing him. Hello, little one. Oh my God, Jeff Goldblum. How about Jeff Goldblum? Do you like that name? I'm just gonna wipe your eyes if that's okay, pet. That's okay. Oh. You're okay. He's purring. Me and the gang are gonna chill out and watch Love Island this evening. It's 10 to nine. Not much has changed. Bowie's getting closer though. Bowie looks humongous. I honestly couldn't be happier. Um, <laughs> while it was definitely impromptu and uh, impulsive, I think it was the right decision. I feel very content, so. <laughs> Don't do as I do, by the way. I mean, as long as you're prepared for the commitment, because cats live a long time, you know? But I always want cats around me. Like, I've always grown up with cats, so it makes sense. You're so sweet. Okay, so you may or may not know, Bowie sleeps with me every single night. And I don't know what the situation is going to be like, to be honest. Because obviously I want the little baby to have a comfortable night's sleep without Bowie beating him up because he frequently, you know, attacks me in the night. Because Barry gets very playful in the wee hours of the morning. And I just, I'm nervous that he's gonna, you know, wallop the kitten. Although Barry's still a kitten, isn't he? Hello. You see, he's already got that look in his eye. Yes, you're crazy, aren't you? 
Oh, you can hear a fly in this room. See, that's the great thing about Bowie. He is the ultimate fly catcher. Morning. <laughs> it's actually really easy to pick up because the light, the light streams in this room so early in the morning. Hey, little one. Oh, you little purr machine, are you? Okay, I'm up. Hello, Mr. Blue Eyes. I'm gonna feed them separately. I'm gonna feed this one on the table. Oh gosh, it feels so impersonal not having a name for you. Hello, gorgeous. You're so curious, babe. It's supposed to be 25 degrees today, which, oh be Jesus, I am not ready for that. I know I always complain when it's not warm enough, but that's too warm. I better freeze some ice, actually. I've actually got a lot to do today. Got to film an integration, got to edit a whole last video, got to send it over for approval. E my lordy lord. Got to sort out my electricity and water account because that wasn't sorted when I thought it was. Um, maintenance man should be coming today to fix my radiator. And then I have a Zoom event that I'm attending tonight. Yeah, it's a busy day. I'm just gonna clean his eye with a bit of salt water for one final time. You're okay. I just wanna make sure you're clean, babe. Surprisingly unsqueaky. Now it's kind of a good time to say, I know I'm like really aware that there are loads of cats in shelters uh, that need to be rescued. And my long-term plan, yeah, definitely I'm gonna have like loads of cats from shelters. For this moment in time, I've always, always, always wanted a ragdoll, like pure breed. And I don't know, I think I've manifested this. And it just came at the right time. And it sort of felt like a little bit of fate that I saw the ad on Gumtree. My first true love, Lulu, my like first cat was a, from a shelter and she was like the best cat ever. She was my best friend in the world. Um, yeah, so it's been a couple of days now. Well, one full day. Basically, it's the next day. I didn't really film much yesterday. It was just very busy. But I've cleaned his eye. He's looking a lot better. Like he purrs a lot. He's so friendly i can't quite believe it he just wants to be with me all the time and i really appreciate that so i think we're gonna end the video here thank you for watching i will probably have named him by the time this goes up i mean i bloody hope i have please <laughs> but do let me know any but let me know any suggestions in the chance that i haven't peace and love <laughs> i'll see you soon bye